TC, your guiding chariot. Welcome to your birthday reading. Uh, we are in Aries season. We also have an Aries full moon coming up. I'm filming this on Sunday. I believe the new moon is on, is it Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday the 7th. I'm pretty sure. So hopefully I can get this up tomorrow. I will. I will. I'm going to get this out tomorrow. Um, thank you for being patient. I know it's your birthday. You've probably been wondering where's your reading. Here it is, my friend. Um, as I'm doing these, I kind of don't know where they're going to go. Um, I intend them to be kind of general readings, but as I've been doing readings, a lot of relationship stuff has been coming up. Um, so who knows? You never know. It's been a lot of 7th house stuff, but we will see. Um, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. I hope your loved ones are safe and healthy. I know it's probably rough having, having your birthday with all of this craziness going on. My heart goes out to you. Lord knows, personally, I have been just... Who knows what I've been doing. <laughs> like, if I'm not working, it's been... If anyone is, if anyone out there is a Nintendo fan and playing Animal Crossing, let me know. Um, I've been playing lots of Animal Crossing. I've been doing lots of baking. My roommate is, is loving that. Got lots of treats. <laughs> so, yeah. I just hope you guys are being sane, safe, and wonderful. Let's get into your reading. Spirit, what guidance and messages do we have for Aries? Do one more. There we go. That voice almost came out. Okay. No, okay. We'll start with these. I think we'll bring these guys back in. I think I'm going to put them on the side for now. Just so we have a little more room. All right that Aries. So Seven of Cups, The Fool. Actually here, let's do it this way for you guys. The Fool and the Nine of Cups. What a great way to start right there. Seven of Cups, The Fool, Nine of Cups. So honestly, this is a very simplified, we'll, we'll add an extra layer to this. It's a very simplified storyline. You guys, I feel like a lot of you have more questions than answers. Um, maybe, probably a lot of you are looking for some new, some new options, some new choices to make. Um, could be, this could be around career. This could be about people in your circle. This could be about many, 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 many things. But it, I, I want to say it does, it looks like you have more questions than answers right now. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of, I do feel like there's a lot of opportunity for you guys. And I, and I, I say that fully knowing what's going on, um, where there's a lot of limitations and a lot of restrictions on us right now. And, you know, for Aries, being our, our warrior energy, we're in your season, you're super tuned in, you're super... I want to say full of this desire to act and to do, you know, and probably if you're, if you're being self quarantined, you know, you're home, like I'd want to do, and I'm stuck within these walls and you're probably trying to figure out things to do or just going, you know, having a case of cabin fever. It's a real thing. Um, with all of this confusion and, and seeking a new start or a new project, a new task, a new, a new career, whatever it is, um, any new opportunity, you're left kind of wondering, what should I do? How should I do this? Can I do this? Um, are there resources available to even make this a thing if this was the thing? Because I could still do that other thing, or maybe I could even do something like this, or I could go into the whatever. You know, just throwing things out there. It does feel like there's a lot of confusion and a lot of almost stuckness is kind of what I wanted. I want to say, because it's, you know, no decision has been made. So there's, there's no direction to go in. So it, it feels very stuck. And, but it's just because you're at this point. Do I go left? Do I go right? Do I go up? Do I do, go down? Do I stay on this level? Do I go to the next one? Do I, you know, go back to square one? Like, there's a lot of that going on. And it, it's, it's kind of a frustrating kind of stuckness. But it's just because we're in this kind of planning phase. We're just kind of figuring out which is what and who and where and why. Um, what's nice with the fool in the center of this, this fool card is that leap. So I will say, I don't, whatever choice you're meant to make or the choice you ultimately will make, you know, there's no guarantees in it. There's no, 
you don't know that, that there's going to be a cushy landing. It is a leap of faith. It is kind of trusting your gut or trusting your instinct or just following the one that you are most passionate about. It doesn't even have to be something that shows a whole lot of promise, but there, I'm sure there'll be one that piques your interest. There's one that you feel strongly about. Um, you can even look at your natural strengths and what makes the most sense, what you know, is, is a little more natural or easy flowing for you, you know, and to have that trust to take that leap. The full card is always a brand new beginning, always. Um, and it is kind of leap of faithy. You can even see in this particular deck, you know, they feature this, this girl trust falling off the cliff, you know, so she's, she's not even looking over. She's just blindly like, all right, I'm falling. But look what she's falling into if you're into sacred geometry. I mean, that is abundance right there. That's, I want to say that's the flower of life. I could tell, I'm actually, I think I'm making it up now that I'm looking at it correctly. It's kind of like that. It's close. It's what it's giving me anyway, but it would make sense because then look what you have. Nine of cups, contentment, fulfillment. Now, one thing I will throw out there. I'm kind of talking about it as work because I do think for a majority of you, this does have to do with work and finances. Um, just given, you know, the climate we're all in. The Nine of Cups doesn't necessarily mean money. Now, the universe isn't dumb. When we talk about our happiness and what our what our end goal and our desires and what, what is part of, you know, fulfillment for us, financial security factors into that for many people. What this particular card is giving me right now, it is that emotional fulfillment. You feel in a place where you are safe, where you are comfortable. You... You know, you kind of have what you need, right? The, this contentment is is not so much about getting every everything on your wish list, right? Although that's usually included. But contentment is about being happy with what's, what's in front of you. You're happy with what you have. This, to me, is a much better place. Like, you went from the seven and elevated up to the cup. Or the nine cups. You went from the seven of cups to the nine of cups. It's a nice little leap, right? Because we, we skipped at the eight. Instead of that, we have the fool here. So there's, there's a little bit of stuckness and some confusion until ultimately you take that leap of faith, you know, and just kind of dive right into something, whatever it is, whatever, if new job, project, if it is a relationship, whatever it is, that leap of faith moment. But where you end up landing is a beautiful place. All right. I do want to clarify these. I'm just going to flip these off the top. Oh, I forgot they're facing me. Oh. How did I get reversals in there? That's fun, little sneaky deekies. All right, so now let me flip these over for you guys. All right, lots of fire energy in here. So we've got the Six of Wands. Beautiful, card of success, victory. We definitely love that, clarifying the Seven of Cups. We have the Strength card in reverse over the Fool. So we've got a major clarifying a major. And then we have the Emperor, your card, Aries. Hey, how you doing? In reverse for the Nine of Cups. Now, neither of these reversals actually come out to me as a bad thing or as a wonky thing. Um, especially since they came out with the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is the energy of success, victory, right? Because this is, this is what we're contemplating about. This is what we're thinking about. How do I find my success? How do I... Yeah, when I say I'm talking about you, Aries... How do I make it through, you know, this challenge, this obstacle? How do I make it through quarantine? How do I make it through, you know, losing my job? How do I make it through this disconnect? How do I make it through this isolation period? You know, I, I had started this project. I was going to do this and make this happen. I had, I had the resources there. Now all of that is gone. How do I, how do I resolve this, right, on my own? Because even in the Six of Wands, it's a solitary figure, right? You know, whatever she did, she did on her own. There's no one else there. Crazy. So I know that's kind of what we're figuring out. How do I find my success? How do I come out of this victorious? Then we have the strength card in reverse, clarifying the fool, right? That leap of faith. Now, strength card, upright, is a really mild force, right? The strength card isn't trying to force anybody. The strength card isn't, isn't telling people what to do. There's no aggression in it, right? It's a very passive strength. And I use that, that word passive a little lightly because it is strength, right? Um, but there's no force or aggression in it. 
The reason I think this is coming up in reverse isn't to emphasize the reverse of that. It just feels like it's something that is going to require a lot of trust from you, right? It's a, to me, it's coming through as a reverse for your own nature, right? You're, you're Aries, you're the Ram, like you want to charge in, you want to do, you're passionate, you're fiery, this is what I want, I'm going after it, I'm making it happen. Where this energy, like I talked about with the Fool, very leap of faithy, very trusty. You know, you're, you in a way have to just make the choice and then surrender to it, right, with this fall. You know, it's very similar to the Strength card, but in, in the Strength card, you know, usually the figure has resigned herself to what she's doing and she's just going to do it right and the lion kind of just obeys you know it's a very quiet strength and the lion just reacts to it the reason i think this is coming in reverse because you you're the lion right and it's it's a weird kind of play you're having with the universe because essentially you as the lion are telling telling the woman what to do, the woman being the universe. Like, this is what I want to go. This is what I want to happen. This is, this is where I want to be at the end of this. Universe is kind of looking at you like, all right, okay. So sit down and, and trust that I'm going to get you there. And you just kind of have to sit. You're kind of still calling the shots, right? Because you're, you're telling, you're telling her what to do. You can kind of even see in this particular deck, they're, they're one, right? So that, that drive, that passion, that, that Aries fire you have is fueling the lion. I mean, like, this is what we're going to do. This is, this is the passion. This is what I really feel connected to. And then the driving force being the divine is like, all right, I'll figure out the hows. I'll figure out the, the, you know, what's coming, where's next. You just tell me the direction. Let me handle the rest. And you just have to kind of, you kind of have to just follow my lead. Right? So to me, the reverse is that you're, you're, you're still in this card, but you're not, you're not necessarily the leader. Like normally when you get this card, you see yourself, and I don't mean you, but like normally this card reads and you're playing as the woman, you're playing as the lion right now. Cause even your emperor card is in reverse, right? So you're not fully in your power. There's, there's still some, I don't want to say lessons to be learned, but you're not the driver and that's okay. That is okay. But it's exercising a little bit of trust. I would say a lot of bit of trust, actually. Now that I'm, now that it's kind of coming out. Um, bottom of the deck, ten of swords. So again, a lot of thinking about that. Seven of cups. What do I do? How do I do this? And a lot of this strife could be from force, trying to make it happen, trying to push it through, trying to push it to the end. And that's just not what you need. And it. it Honestly, it makes sense. We're in such a restricted time and a restricted kind of place in the world right now. A lot of this can't necessarily be forced. Now, does that mean you sit on the sofa? No, of course not. You know, there are going to be opportunities to act and to do things and participate. And then you have to act up and rise up. But until that moment arises, we are kind of just exercising trust here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to shuffle this a little bit. So this is kind of a new deck for me. I haven't used it as often, so I might I might refer to the book. We'll see what happens. Um, it's the first time I've actually used it in a reading, so it's kind of cool. Okay, I'm gonna cut this bad boy. Uh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. So Aries. Your archetype is the mask. The mask. Now, interesting, when you think about it, what does what does the mask resemble to you? This may even be a nice exercise just for you if, to think about, you know, in the next coming weeks as we move through April. A lot of what's going on, and it's so funny, this half-half is like, to me, is really mirroring the strength card here as well, with the half-lion, half-woman. Right? Ooh as you run away from me, come on. So you think of a mask, right? Mask usually covers up something. A lot of times a mask is a facade, right? I almost want to say this mask is something you're adopting. Honestly, it could be for a couple of reasons. But I do think outwardly, what's being kind of, I don't want to say recommended, but you know, what's kind of coming through I, I do want to say you as an Aries, 
I do think you still are serving as a leader. As I talk, I'm kind of like thumbing through the book to find, find this in case there's anything I want to add to it. But when I say, when I say there's still this aspect of being a leader, excuse me. <coughs> See, haven't used this book in a while. She's dusty. I, do, I want to say that there is an element where your actions are still, <coughs> excuse me, still kind of inspiring. Your, your movements and your motions are having an impact on the people around you or the people that, let's say, see you and are kind of observing your behaviors at this time. <coughs> excuse me. That should be the last one. That was the third one. <laughs> Um, and I think a lot of that is kind of boiling down to your level of action, your level of positivity, and just seeing how you continue to move and not let, you know, whatever's happening in your circle or to your, you know, in your friend circle with your family, not letting any of the hard stuff kind of weigh you down or bog you down. You know, you still have this great fire for life. You still have this wonderful kind of persona to you that's still positive and, you know, can do and powerful. Um, and like none of that has been suppressed where, you know, we kind of know that underneath there may be some, there's definitely some confusion. There may be some uncertainty. There may be some doubt. Um, some of you, and I want to say this is a real minority, but some of you may have some, some rejection going on, maybe with a work, you know, situation that happened because of everything that's going on. Um, but underneath there, there's some shadow stuff that, you know, we're working through, we're dealing with, you know, we're strong, we're strong warriors. That's not going to keep us down, you know, but on the outside, we do have to maintain this can do, you know, activated persona, which is where this mass is coming from. But I do say that's because you are still serving as an inspiration. There's still people who look to you and it may not be obvious, it may not be something that they're, you know, talking about, it may not be something that's super obvious in their behavior, but there's still, I want to say there's still some eyes on you. And it's a, it's a great thing, it is a good thing when I say that, but because of that, you know, they need to see you up and strong, because ultimately, even though we're worrying about this Seven of Cups and we have some weird stuff going on, you know, you're going to be alright. We already know this, right? You know, and... It would have it would have a bigger impact, a more positive impact, for someone to see you continuing to go for it, continuing to strive, continuing to thrive, right, and be victorious. Versus, oh my God, this is so scary. Oh my God, this is so worrisome. Um, and I don't I don't say this to to make it like you're not allowed to do that. If you need a moment, if you need to talk it out with someone, that's what your friends are there for, you know. But on the whole you need to be displaying a lot of poise and strength and composure. Composure is actually a much better word. That's actually the word I want to use for this. Um, ooh. Hold on a moment. I see your card. Take it back. I see your three cards. It feels like three. Yeah. We're taking them all. But what I was saying, someone someone is looking to you, or at least there's people who are inspired by your actions. So you still want to be giving off this strength. You still want to be giving off that that power and that assertiveness and that kind of, you know, got it together. Even though, you know, maybe there's some things we don't have. It's a little fake it to you make it moment, but still can do it. So you've got hidden like the lotus. I love the image on this card. Look at that. Flowering spirit, revelation, maturity. Same strength. And even, you know, if you look at this image, this bright lit up lotus in this kind of dark pond, you know, the only really bright light is right on that lotus. That is you. In a time of darkness, you are shining bright. Aurora Garden. Another beautiful card. Prompt reads beginning, initiate, origin. So it's start of something new. We have the fool here. Oh my god, I didn't even look at the last one. And then the leap. Beautiful. Look at that. Ecstasy, bliss, belief. There's that leap of faith right there. So new beginning, a leap, and open like the lotus. 
No need to run, no need to hide. Be seen, be positive, open up, be bright. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh, take that as confirmation for everything we were just talking about. I love it. We're gonna close out with a divine direction. But beautiful. So yes, definitely take that leap when you find it. When you find that thing that feels like, you know what, this this feels good. And remember, oh, there we go. Do I want this one? No, I don't. Remember, it feels like you're gonna be looking at this and that you can't see you can't see where you're gonna land. You can't see the end result. But it just feels right. Go for it. So first one out. Flow. You need more flexibility in your life. Allow yourself to go with the flow. Remember, I told you, even though you're kind of giving the universe a direction, you're not the one in the driver's seat. Be okay with that. Be okay with the trust, right? Go with the flow. And look, career. This has totally got a lot of work things. So some of you, this may actually be a big course correct. This may be an opportunity to start your own business or maybe start a side hustle while things are shut down. You know, there may be some course corrections for a lot of you out there, Aries. It's time to add extra energy to your career area. Maybe try something new. For some reason, the word your career really stuck out to me. I don't know if I said it with any more emphasis when I when I read it, but it felt like it was your career. Like it's, it's almost, I want to describe it as like you have the career that pays the bills and then you have the career that, or the work that, you know, you're super passionate about. This may be the moment to put some energy into the one you're passionate about. Especially if, you know, you're not in the office anymore right now because it's closed or whatever's going on. Um, this is giving you some time. Hey, lay some things out. Prioritize. You know, use this time effectively is what I feel for a lot of you, Aries. This is a great time for you to kind of do you. And don't be afraid of it. Don't hide away from it. Don't doubt it. Trust it. Process it. You have time to think about it and work it out. Go for it. And again, you may be inspiring others to do the same and get their balls roll get their balls rolling. That was a bad phrase. Sorry about that. You know what I mean. Alright, my lovely Aries, I'm gonna wrap up your reading here. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope again you're staying safe, staying healthy, sending you love from me to you and your family and your friends. We are gonna get this get through this together and we're gonna be fine take this time, work out what you need to, and there's a whole new beginning for you. All right. Happy birthday, as always. Cheers. I'm clinking my glass to you from Hawaii. Wishing you the best, and I will see you in your next video. Bye, Aries.